Google Assistant can do a lot, but my favorite trick is all the cool stuff you can do with routines. You can create custom commands. You can tell back and forth jokes. Hey, parallel lines have so much in common. It's a shame they'll never meet. Well, yeah, I am so sorry. But that is an example of a custom command. Here's a look at that and all the other cool stuff you can do with Google Assistant's routines. Step one, you need a device with Google Assistant. Fortunately, routines work with smart speakers like the Nest Mini, Android phones, smart displays like the Nest Hub. Heck, you can even download Google Assistant on an iPhone. To avoid any headaches, we'll be removing the wake words as we go so we don't accidentally trigger the devices you already have. Hey, tell me what you think of my quarantine beard. Aren't quarantine jokes getting old? Uh, I mean, I guess. Hey, I was more fishing for a compliment. Oh, you look fine, I guess. Aw, thanks, Google. Okay, let's dive in. To get started, you'll need the Google Home app. When you see this menu, just hit the Routines button. Google offers a list of suggested routines with common commands to get you started. Hit Manage Routines, then you can see the details of each of those and activate or customize any of the presets. Good morning's a popular one. I can change it to take my phone off silent if I want, but I don't really need to know about the weather right now. It's not like I'm going outside anytime soon. You can add actions. Any command that normally works with Google Assistant works here and will activate automatically as part of your routine. Hit Browse Popular Actions and you can see suggestions. Scroll all the way down and you'll see Say Something. Here's where you can create custom commands, but let's finish this routine first. After you set your commands, you can trigger stuff like news, music, or podcasts to start playing, and even that's customizable too by hitting the gear wheel. You can even order the news or music sources to play as you'd like. When you're done, hit save and your routine is set. You can customize any of the preset options like we did with Good Morning, or you can make and schedule your own. Head into that same menu in the Google Home app. This time hit the Add Routine button at the top. You'll see blank fields for commands, actions, media. You can also set a day and time if you want to schedule your smart home stuff to work on its own. Pick a command or phrase, whatever you want to put here to trigger your smart home or a custom response. Let's say, tell me the best type of donut. Then we browse popular actions and head back to say something. Hit the gear icon and we can type in the proper response, which is obviously jelly filled. And for this one, I can have a phone send a text to all of my friends telling them something similar so we can finally put this argument to bed. You can add anything else you might want your routine to do, but what could be more important than annoying your friends with facts? One thing to know, Google can get tripped up if you make your command phrase a question. You can add alternate phrasing to any routine, you just need to work around actually asking questions, which is kind of a bummer for an otherwise great feature. And there you have it. Routines let you create custom commands and perform any number of Google Assistant actions and play your music, all from a set phrase or on your schedule. Routines might seem simple at first glance, but get to know them and they're a versatile and awesome feature. Hey, say goodbye. Parting is such sweet sorrow, etc. You get it. Really moving stuff. Thank you, Google. Please like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video and check out our matching video on custom commands for the Amazon Echo and thank you for watching. Okay. Hey, I thought that sounded good. And they say I'm the one whose intelligence is artificial. Like and subscribe.